Hello, I'm Anne from Fine Art Anne. I'm trying uh, to do this um, voiceover for the first time, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, uh, this is a video of a fun little experiment I had. I painted this all with pan pastels using only red light. I'm sorry, the quality of this video is not very good. I was at holiday trip while I painted this and I didn't have my camera stand with me. So I, <laughs> I had my boyfriend to assist me by holding the camera while I painted. Also, because I used only this monochromatic red light, I had troubles to get the lighting correct, but uh, hope you will enjoy this video anyway. So, here is the sketch I made earlier, and these are the colors I used. Now I switched the light to red, so you can see how those colors change in different lights. As you can see, I can't tell which color is which. Now I will mix those pan pastels and arrange them to the palette so that uh, they are arranged accordingly to the tone I can see in this light. I placed only white and black so that I know where those colors are because I don't want those to, especially the black, uh, to mix too much for uh, some colors accidentally. I wanted to control those two colors. But everything else I had no idea what colors I was actually using while painting this. Now I start adding some color. I decided to start from that white color so that I know I get depth and contrast to that background. I wanted that uh, center area to be lighter and get darker uh, when uh, going to the edge. After that, I selected randomly some other darker colors for the edges and started to mix those different colors together to get the robust, nicely contrasted transformation from lighter center area to edges. And then I let my boyfriend have a little break and work at that uh, all off camera for a while. I had this tactic while painting this owl. I selected some specific colors that I use for shadow areas and other lighter colors for highlighted areas. I hoped that those different colors would be different enough from each other that uh, those itself would uh, give contrast and depth for the owl because I didn't have any clue what actual colors I have I was using I didn't want to I hoped I wouldn't get red next to red or yellow next to yellow or green next to green I wanted to get uh, different colors in different uh, areas and shadow areas 
uh, would be uh, in total different color than uh, highlight areas. For the sharper details I used mostly current dash pastel pencils and in few areas also some current dash polychromos colored pencils. The main focus in this painting was not to choose right colors but rather focusing in the contrast and details. And here is the finished piece. And now uh, I change the light so we can see the accurate colors I used. I was surprised how natural colored this turned out. Although with this one there was not so big risk of brewing this piece with making mud of those colors since the muddy brown suits well with this all. But um, you still can see fun little odd colors here and there. I like that green in his belly and under those wings and he has also pinkish red eyes. And little close-up comparison red light versus normal light. And here is a bit better picture I took on natural light. Here, here you can see better those greens and reds. I hope you liked this little experiment. Remember, lighting matters when painting. See you next time. Bye!